All right, how about another episode of the Leo Soap Opera? I'm here with my cup of tea, my morning tea. I've got the King of Wands, the Burger King, staring at me. Uh, you know, I wasn't sure what I was going to do this morning, but I shuffled on a bunch of stuff, and here we are with the Leo Soap Opera. Very interesting little storyline here in my pre-shuffle. You might want to stick around. This is Soulmate Energy's update for the sign of Leo. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. It encompasses all of the energies in play right now, including uh, Mercury moving back into Gemini, which I think I'm going to pull on. But for now, let's take a look at what's going on here from the angle of Leo. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. This reading is timeless, so when you find it, you're meant to find it. I've got a very frightened King of Wands here. This is the, your person's ego. This this person, whoever this is, I can't tell you apart from your soulmate, Leo. I'm always honest with you. I tell you that. Okay, so I say somebody. I'm going to say your person, but roles can be reversed here. Very, very much so. That said, I've got a, a very frightened King of Wands here. I say frightened because that's just how I feel it. Okay? I, I don't have a card to back that up. I've got someone here who, who wants to walk away from eight broken cups, toxin, toward the nine of cups. Okay, that's the eight of cups. They're walking away toward the nine of cups, the emotional fulfillment. Okay, in the end, uh, uh, spoiler alert, late, late, late in the pre-shuffle, the nine of cups wins. But before the nine of cups wins, I've got someone here very stubborn. Very stubborn, sitting on their hands, doing nothing with the Seven of Pentacles. Although the timing seems to be right for it to happen, they're in their fields, the King of Cups. But again, the King of Cups is afraid to be vulnerable in certain contexts. And in this context, the King of Cups is afraid to be vulnerable. This is where most of the fear is coming from. Most of the fear that I picked up off the King of Wands is coming off of the King of Cups. And that's someone who has been shut down for a long time who is really feeling something where this soulmate connection is concerned. They feel like there's a future. They feel like you could have a good life together. They feel like all kinds of things. And the implication is that they are unhappy. It is eight broken cups that they need to walk away from. Right here. Here's more fear. Afraid of what to do. What do I do here? Slowly but surely they're learning. Page of Pentacles is the card of the student. There's the rainbow, right? The happiness. There it is. But I've got somebody who, who is easily distracted. Eight of Pentacles crossing the Queen of Pentacles. They distract themselves with things that make them feel warm and fuzzy inside. Which for your person, assuming it's your person, is Pentacles. Is something practical. Work projects, I don't know. I get something about theater productions or something along those lines. Th those types of things. That's for somebody watching. Uh, I don't know why that popped in my head, but it did. It's just somebody, little businesses on the side, whatever it is, family, you know, somebody had a new baby, they have a new niece or nephew, that kind of thing, just whatever they can distract themselves with. Doing the bills, whatever. Okay? Content to sit where they are. Right here, four of wands. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a marriage for a lot of you. And, and this Four of Wands is bookending this King of Wands. This is where the pre-shuffle technically stops. This Four of Wands, this, 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 this stability, whatever they see as stability, they, can, if they, can, they think they can sit in it. It's a very stubborn energy blended with fear. But as I said earlier in the spoiler alert, the Nine of Cups wins. You can kind of see it there. Right before we hit it is the Hierophant. This spiritual thing. That the spiritual change within this person drives them toward the Nine of Cups, drives them forward, Eight of Wands, forward movement. But there's also an energy here, and I won't lie to you, I never would do that. There's also an energy here of someone who convinces themselves that what they have that is long term, that is a marriage or a relationship or a way they've been living, convinces themselves that it is Nine of Cups, but it's not. In that context of energy, this Eight of Wands is the universe's way of saying the expiration date is up. Okay, time to go. There's a lot of fear. A stubbornness blended with fear. About eight broken cups that they seem content to just keep drinking out of. Even though they got jagged edges on them and shit. Let's go. Let's pull ourselves a reading, Leo. Okay. Let's see where we go here. Let's shuffle the deck. That was just me talking to the universe before I hit the record button. I shuffled the deck. I shuffled for about 
oh, I'd say about eight minutes on that, eight or ten minutes. It was a long shuffle. The universe had a lot it wanted to say, and it wanted to say it just like it wanted to say it. Let's go. Give me the soulmate cycle, all affecting energies from the angle of Leo. This first card out is before the cut. As you all know, if you've been here a while, it's why the fuck are we here? So why the fuck are we here? This is why. The moon. And is, I'm going to give you an interpretation of this card and this position that I would not normally say for the moon. Normally I'd say it for a seven of swords or something like that. But this person's full of shit. They're keeping things, they're, they're carpet sweeping. That's what that eight of pentacles is, where they distract themselves. This person can convince themselves that they're fine. Uh, they are, I'm telling you, and I've told you this before, and I don't mean to say that they are one, but your person is a brilliant actor in their own life. They're playing a role. There's no doubt there's so much going on beneath the surface in this person that they're just keeping in the shadows. It's mind-blowing. But I don't think they can. I'm pulling on under the current energies. And if you all watched the full moon reading the other day, you know it's, it becomes a simple math equation now. 1 plus 1 equals 2. That's it. It's real simple for them. And there it is. What you don't know, what they don't know. Well, you know because I'm telling you. What this person, this energy, doesn't know is that they're gone. They're gone. They want to take a leap of faith. And all of that, that moon is leaking to the surface. Okay? They want something new. That is very clear from the pre-shuffle. Now, the fool, there's a nervousness about it. You know, the fool, this little chick here, it doesn't know what's going to happen when it leaves the nest. I see it all the time here in the spring with the uh, Cooper's Hawks here in the neighborhood. I've told you before. The mother has to chase them away eventually. They'll keep hanging out. They'd hang out their whole damn life if the parents didn't chase them away. And that's what they have to do. Something's going to happen here. There's a tower missing. I say that a lot about Cancer's readings, but in yours here, there's a tower missing that causes this fool to happen. Like I said in my spoiler alert for the pre-shuffle, the Nine of Cups wins in the end. I don't think they can, they can keep distracting themselves. Um, I think it's tricky. I think it's getting tricky to do that and with all the energies in play plus that full moon, that Sagittarius full moon, the processing moon, they can finally process the information and they can't and when you can process something it's hard to push it down. It's a bit like acknowledging it. Once you acknowledge it, it's tricky to push it back down. All right? Carpet sweeping days are coming to an end. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. Give me the soulmate cycle. All affecting energies from the angle of Leo. What do we got? Our overall energy for the reading, I haven't even looked yet, is the Hermit. See, that's that processing moon. That's the light bulb going off. I was just talking about the full moon. Pay attention to that full moon reading, Leos. What's, what's crossing this Hermit? Six of Cups. Yeah, processing, thinking back, thinking back to the past, feeling this connection, all of the past lives of these roots. It's all, and they're able to process it. The hermit is a brilliant processor. Very powerful. One of those gaming computers, right? Big time processing power here. And that's the thing. It's going to set the light bulb off. Like I said, I still hold firm to what I said in the uh, pre-shuffle. The nine of cups wins in the end. This person is getting harder and harder to carpet sweep. Mm, it's getting harder and harder. Because it's pretty miserable over there. I feel it. I don't like it. Give me a stomach ache. Ugh. All right. Right here's the energy around the connection. I think they just made some bad choices. I think they made their bed and now they figure they got a lie in it. But, but they don't. There's always a way. The universe, it, very clear. That's always a message in the universe to us 3D people. There's always a way. There is. The universe want, just wants to balance energy. And unhappiness of, on any level is out of balance energy. Here we go. Energy around your connections here. How your person feels is here. Again, roles can be reversed here. But I'm pulling on the incoming energy. But your frequencies are so exact. It's, it's crazy. Right here, um, how they feel in the soul. Not what they show you, not what they tell you. Okay? Because that's bullshit. Right here is the hidden energy, the message from the universe. I'll tell you what she says. It's read with the energy of the connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. I wish I could. I wish I could control this person. I always do when I pull a Leo reading. Okay, I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. I don't know if I'm going to extend this one or not. I have no idea. 
you know because if I do there's a link in the description uh, if I do I promise you it's it's for a reason all right I have no plans to all right let's go extendeds take a lot out of me uh, energy around the connection but I'm all right I got my green tea I'm good if I need to I will ten pentacles the energy around your connection right now is basically the universe screaming, hey, this is the real deal. It's there. It, the, the energy is here. It's on top. It's, it is the rainbow. Your connection to this person is the, is the end of the rainbow. It, it's, 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 it's just there. It's just, it is the ten pentacles. Your connection is beautiful with this person. It's the 3D person that's getting in the way. On the soul level, this is a spectacular thing, but there's also a long-term commitment on their side that's getting in the way here. Energy's always in layers. That's one of the layers. We'll see when we clarify, all right? How do they feel in, the, in their, you know, how does the person feel in the 3D? The lovers. See, they want to go. The love geese are in the air. The energy for this, I said, what did I say? Rewind. I said the energy is is here it's there it's the universe saying hey come and get it here it is and there it is right there that's the universe this is used to be called the choice in some decks still is in, in, in some um it's the unit it's major arcana the universe opens the it, it decides it's time and and then the person gets to make a choice whether they go towards it or not with their free will but all this person wants to do is get out of whatever they've got and come to they, they want love and they don't have it and what's funny is I read an energy of a person who knows the value of love deep down in their soul. They know it. This is a very old soul we're dealing with, and I've told you that about your person before. I like your person at the soul level. I do. They are very old soul. Might be older than me. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> For a few of you, they are. Right here. Um, uh, soul energy. How do they feel about you in the soul? Uh, the deception runs deep with this person. Uh, they're, they're, they're shut down big time. It's the Queen of Wands. There's a lot of attraction here. It means that when it falls there. I won't lie to you. They're very attracted to you. I don't think they're attracted to who they're with or anyone else around them as much as they are you. Okay? It, it's not just looks. It's who you are. Right? The person. Um, but the, this is also Fakie McFakerman. Right? The rattlesnake. Rattles. Rat coils up and rattles the rattle and, and hopes it doesn't have to strike. This person is this, is, this is how deep the carpet sweeping goes. This is how shut down your person is. Very phony on the outside. A lot of plastic smiles, as we like to say here in Los Angeles. A plastic smile. This is, uh, yeah, and I say it a lot about your person. This is the celebrity who gives you the, the, the plastic smile and an autograph. It is. If you were to run into this person, everyone around them that kind of knows them on a superficial level probably thinks that they're really nice and really cheery and really happy. Uh, would have nothing but nice things to say about the person. But the real person underneath is bitter and shut down and angry at themselves for being stuck or making decisions that they made. There's a difference. There's a line that divides what you see and who they really are. They're not letting who they really are come through. All right, that's the problem. It's why you two aren't together. It's why the love geese are having a hard time flying south for the winter here. Mm. All right, let's go. Um, message from the universe: Red with the ten of pentacles, four of cups. Yeah, um, your person. And again, roles can be reversed. Your person knows damn well that you're the ten. Of, you're the real deal, ten of pentacles. That's abundantly clear here. Even the fakey McFakerman tells me that on this side of it, you know, it's it, there's a lot of attraction here. There's nothing but disappointment here. There's, but again, energies in layers. I want you to pay attention to what I said earlier about this. I said there's a layer of energy about ten pentacles on their side. They're what they see as long term, and they convince themselves that fakey McFakerman is bookending it. This is backing up my pre-shuffle. They, they convince themselves through cover stories and lies they tell themselves that what they've got is great. It's not great. This person is living in a pool of disappointment. Disappointment that they didn't go toward you. Disappointment that they're staying with what they're staying with. I think they feel obliged to on some level. I think for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, this person was raised in a very traditional way. 
Uh, it almost reads like that, and I know it's not for all of you, so please discard it if it's not for you. But I think this person was raised in a very traditional way. It's somebody who would have to have a church wedding because mommy wouldn't go for it any other way, and it would, it would cause an upset kind of a thing like that. But I don't think that that's who they really are. They're living against their soul's true purpose. I pick up on that a lot from your person, and I don't need to even be, you know, to do any voodoo energy reading to get that. The Queen of Wands and the soul is someone living against their soul's true purpose. It's a materialistic energy. It's superficial. It's all surface. This is a deep position in this reading, and I get surface. All the good stuff is carpet swept. They're living in a pool of disappointment. They're very disappointed that they rejected you. I think they probably prejudged you or they just ran from you because they knew how they felt and it might bring trouble. Mm-hmm. I do. Okay. Potential final outcome. Red with the love geese in the air. Well, what is it? I got these two cards. They won't come apart. I try, to, I try a couple of times and when they stick together, uh, I got to pull them together. So the first card is the king of swords. He takes action. The second card is the Eight of Swords. All right, This person is getting pulled in two directions. The Eight of Swords is, is our mind generating fears. So what this is telling me, because they came out in this order and they wouldn't stay apart, is this person wants nothing more than to go toward the rainbow. They want the real Ten of, ten of Pentacles. The love geese are in the air. They, they feel it. They want to do it. They're processing it because of the processing moon and all of that. They get right to your door, metaphorically speaking. They get right to your door. They get just about to hit the send button on a text that they spent hours writing. And then they get in their head. It, the universe is telling us here, this person's problem, the reason they're sitting in disappointment, right? Shut down. Phony. Right down to the soul. Convincing themselves that what they've got is great. The reason they're like this is because of this. It's the eight of swords that this person keeps going to. And it's always been their red flag energy. Since I got here, you know, if you've been watching my Leo readings, it's always been their red flag energy. When they get in their head, that's when nothing happens. This, it, it, this stops this King of Swords. It's less powerful, but it doesn't matter. The old person here can come up with cover stories for anything, excuses for anything. Yet what's really bizarre, okay, what's really bizarre is this hermit energy. And I can't talk enough about it. In the soul, this is a beautiful person. Whoever the hell I'm pulling on, this is someone with wisdom. They might be, they might fancy themselves an intellectual, even. I, it's possible. I don't know. But whatever it is, they don't show their true selves with it with fakey here. They don't show their true selves to the people around them. That's why I say the people around them might say they're really sweet, really nice, really kind, really happy, all kinds of things like that. They might even take smiling pictures and put them all over the internet. But that's not who they are. Who they are is this wise soul trying to come out who knows the value of love but isn't going for it because they keep getting in their head out of fear, probably because they rejected you. And now it's hard to go back to something you rejected. I always tell you that, right? You know, I give you examples of that all the time. I tell you, think about a job that you rejected because you thought something better was going to come through. And when that something better didn't come through, how hard is it to call back that job you said, no, I don't want it? It's hard. Okay, it's very hard. Imagine that 10 times that with love, more powerful than just some stupid job. It's tough. This person does, but they have the ability to do it. The energy is there. They actually at times think they can pull it off. Yeah, I could probably go in. It, it's more an energy here of, oh, what will I say? I want to reach out, but what would I say? Oh, and how do I, oh, and what if they say that? And what if, it's too, they, this needs to go. We'll see what happens when we clarify. We're going to clarify with the Lightseer deck. Let's pull on this Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles here. The energy around the connection. Let's go. I'm taking my time with this reading. This Leo soap opera is very important. I know it's important to a lot of you. Um, I'm just trying to tell you a little bit about who you're dealing with here. You're dealing with somebody basically, in a nutshell, that's shut down. And it has been for some time. I think they used to act impulsively. I think they've done some things in the past that were impulsive and it came back to bite them. You know? Uh, tweets they regretted making. Uh, things they regretted doing. Who knows? Could be anything. But they acted impulsively in the past. So rather than find some temperance, something down the middle, they just shut down completely. 
You know, they're afraid to drive the car because they hit a pole once, so they just sit in the driveway with never starting the car. It's not really the way to go. You got to get back up on that horse. They haven't figured that out yet, it seems. Or they have, and then they don't. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? <clears throat> Let's find out. Yeah. It's crossed by the page. Oh, it's the page. Yeah, Freudian slip. Yeah, it is kind of a fear card in this case. It isn't usually. It's the Knight of Pentacles. Right? They're taking a long time here to figure things out. But this is the energy of that processing moon. This is all thought, thought and wasted time. A lot of time being wasted. This person's got a racehorse. But they're walking. That's a lot of time to think as you cross that long field. I see them coming to the end of this. All right? They're about to reach their destination, reach some kind of decision. I believe that's true. I see it here. Mm, but I also believe they might get in their way. Mm, what's on top? Justice. Yeah, they're taking their time making a decision. Most of your people, in, in the Leo angle, most of them are married or with someone else. It, it's a relationship or a family. Um, it really is. There's something that that's past its expiration date that they need to leave, and they know they want to leave. They want a divorce. They want out. They want to. And divorce doesn't just mean marriage. It's a vocabulary word. You could divorce yourself from a dog. It means getting rid of something, separating yourself from it. It's so. There's something they need to divorce. Could be a marriage for a lot of you, in in this context. That they're they're dilly dallying, and they know they've been dilly dallying. They're reaching the end. They're about to make a decision here. I believe it. It's being helped by this full moon, but also because of the lover's card here. The connection is very powerful. Why is justice here? Three of cups. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it's a third party energy. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice today. I got to drink some of my tea. Hold on a minute. All right. It's a third party energy in this particular context. It's, it's a third party that they need to divorce that they're dilly-dallying around. They know you're the real Ten of Pentacles. All right, it's plain and simple. It's everything I already told you about the Ten of Pentacles. They're disappointed in themselves that they're taking so long, that they've tried to make it work so many times with whatever, how, however they've been living on their side. They're very disappointed. These cards are read together. There's an air of disappointment around this person. All right? All right, the lovers. Whatever this is, that they're, how they're living on their side, there's no love there. It's out of balance. They're taking their time, though. They're going too slow, and, and that energy is building. It's going more and more out of balance. I don't think they can continue to carpet sweep too much longer. I know that because of the hermit here and that little light bulb going up. Ting! Right? Why is the lovers here? Let's talk about their emotions. Let's talk about the 3D person. Uh, let's see here. Lovers. Why is it here? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know... It's a three of swords. Kurt Cobain in pain. Uh huh. Let me tell you something about the three of swords. Sometimes, sometimes people misunderstand it. They see the card and they go, uh, you know, heartache. Um, it's going to end badly. Things like that. It shows an equal and opposite reaction for how much love is here. There's a lot of pain. I just told you they're sitting in disappointment. They really love this soulmate connection. Well, I'll say you. They really love you. They really do. They really, really missed out on something. There's a missed opportunity here on crack. The thing is, we often, you often hear people say, you can't have light without shade, right? The Three of Swords is a card that flips that. Technically, you can't have shade without light. Otherwise, it's just dark, right? If you go under a shade tree, it implies that the sun is out and the tree is blocking, creating the shade. Well, you can't have shade without light is what this energy is telling me. That's how much love is here. This is how much shade is here. The equal and opposite reaction on the other side is how much love is here. This person, it, it's just disappointment coming off of this. It really is. What's on top? Fool. Look at that. Another fool. That's what came after the cut. Their urge to come towards you is very strong. <clears throat> the Three of Swords is one of the cards that ends the separation phase in these soulmate cycles. They're just hanging on to what they've got by a thread. They really, this energy is, is pushing this person to jump in the water here, to go toward emotion, to do something. They've been dilly-dallying, but I said about that Knight of Pentacles that was crossing here, he about at the end of that. All right, I saw it at the end of the card. About done. 
Why is the fool here? Six of cups. Yeah. Uh, someone from the past, they, all they want to do is, is come toward the soulmate connection. Uh, this is an energy, sometimes it's nostalgia, sometimes it's thinking back. The Six of Cups in this context is just this soulmate connection. It's so, so many past lives here. It's ridiculous. The Six of Cups is also crossing this hermit. Uh, this person is right on the edge of coming towards you. There's a, there's a surprise. I told you there's a tower missing here. I don't have a tower anywhere, but it keeps coming up. It, a ghost tower is floating around. This is a surprise that someone just shows up out of nowhere, is what this is. This All this adds up to a fucking tower. Um, Queen of Wands, let's pull on the soul. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. You're not sharing soul space with anyone, I can tell you that. Someone, however, I will say this for a few of you, if you especially if your person's married or in a relationship. Someone else thinks that they're they're in your person's soul but they're not they're not in fact they're a detriment to it they're they they're actually a one that hurt and caused this person to shut down they're the bad decision this person made and it wasn't necessarily doesn't necessarily mean a bad decision in the beginning to marry the person or to get together with the person it doesn't necessarily mean that it might have been the right decision in the beginning but this person once at some point they realized it was bad but yet, rather than turn their car around, they just kept going down, going the wrong way. It's very strange that someone with this old of a soul and someone this intelligent would do that. It's very strange. They must have been hurt really bad. Okay, why is the... Uh, it must go all the way back to childhood or something. I don't know. Uh, Queen of Wands is crossed. The affecting energy of it is the Page of Cups. They're refusing to let themselves feel fully. That's what that's the distracting themselves from the pre-shuffle. Okay? What's on top? See? See? I told you. They're refusing. It's the King of Wands. It's what we opened this reading with. Our favorite cobra. It's the King of Wands. It's again, this person is just distracting themselves, refusing to pushing back love in favor of whatever image they're trying to put out. And it, it, it's, it's the ego taking over the soul. The ego is drowning out the soul here is the easy way to put it. Why is the King of Wands here? Seven of Cups. Um, the problem is here's another tower. Again, I get a ghost tower. I get the Seven of Cups with it. It's a Cups card. It belongs in the soul. It does. It's not my favorite one to have there, but I like it here. Why? Because all this pushing it back all this image they're trying to keep up, drowning out the soul, is causing a, an instability here. Very unstable. All right? And net, net, it's causing confusion. And net, net, it's going to cause them to do something. Probably come towards you. Probably reach out and give the love. The love is leaking through a little bit. Uh, the more they try to do this, the more confused they get, the more disappointed they get, the more sad they get, the more they dilly-dally on something that's past its expiration date. Look, I've told you this before. Your person, and it's the same energy I've been pulling on since I got here, this person is living against their soul's true purpose. Their soul energy doesn't match the energies around them. It's the same damn message. It's the same damn thing. Your person in the soul is this wise hermit. I'll put it to you this way. The energies around them are forcing them to behave like this, which is causing a great deal of confusion. And confusion in the soul is dangerous. It's dangerous. It can lead to breakdowns. It can lead to someone doing something crazy, checking themselves in for observation, those kinds of things. There, when, when, we're, when the soul energies around us don't match and we're forced to be an actor in our own life, putting out an image, pretending that everything is great and the shit tastes good, it's a problem. They don't have to be doing this is also what the universe is saying with the Seven of Cups. There is a way out. There's always a way. It's the red one, by the way. Hint. Spoiler alert. It's not all these gold ones that they're looking at. Okay. Four of Cups. Message from the universe. I know this energy well. I've been pulling on it since I got here a year ago or so, a year and a quarter or whatever. I know this energy well. They're still dilly-dallying. But I think they're coming to the end of dilly-dallying. I think they know if they wait too much longer, 
they're only going to get more miserable. And with the full moon energy coming in, allowing them to process all of this, I, th I think a decision is coming soon. I feel that around the Seven of Cups, too. Why is the Four of Cups here? Tell me about it. Tell me about all this disappointment. Oh, God. Oh, listen. The disappointment, the primary energy of the disappointment has nothing to do with not divorcing or getting themselves away from what, what, whatever has been or how they've been living. It's all about you. It is this person here, the, the Knight of Cups crossing the Four of Cups, the things they didn't do, woulda, coulda, shoulda, all over the place here. Man, you were there out. You were there out. And they knew it right from the beginning. There was a soul recognition here. They knew you were something special. You were something different. Maybe you were talented. Maybe you were smart. Maybe you were all of that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they were just attracted to you. Maybe you're way better than what they've got. You're, you're a better soul match than what they currently have. They knew it right from the beginning. This is looking, this is someone here, I get an energy, this takes me right back to the beginning. If they could do it all again, they would choose differently. I don't think that's wise of them though. As, as wise as your person might be in their soul, maybe even older than me, I don't think that's wise. I would advise against that. We make the decisions we make in the moment we make them. And in that moment, they're the right decisions for us. It was the right decision for this person to run. I know you don't want to hear that when you first had soul recognition. This all played out the way it was supposed to because they had a lot to learn. You wouldn't have wanted this person. They were shut down. They were broken. They had a lot to learn. And, and sometimes learning takes a while, doesn't it? If you, if you want, it depends what you want to be. right? If you want to be a, a, a medical billing technician, you go to school for a small amount of time. If you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, you go to school for a long amount of time. It depends how, how far gone or how much you need to learn. This person needed to learn a lot. And they're just coming to the end of the learning here. They're just, just, it's getting to a point now where it's getting stupid. They're really unhappy. What's on top? I thought I'd share that with you. That's the energy that's here. Take it for what it's worth to you. But at the end of the day, whether, they're, whether their logic is right or not, is wise or not, the truth of the matter is all they, if they could do it again, they would, do, they would play it differently. And that's the thing. It's, it's time. Once you realize that, it's time to stop carpet sweeping. But your person is still taking their time a little bit. What's on top here? This is red with justice, okay? With this energy affecting it. Ace of Wands. Listen. There, now here's the energy of what's on their side that divorce energy here it is this person is disappointed that there isn't a happy new beginning coming they'd have been, they're thinking they'd have been further along by now if they'd have done it a while ago they'd be further along now they'd already be in a new place and be, you guys could be together I mean all that kind of stuff I mean, whatever it is they're disappointed that there, there hasn't been that there, this is someone who's bored okay they're bored it's someone whose life is the same. It's mundane. Every day it's this. They do this, this, and this. And they work on their little projects to distract themselves for how miserable it is around and distract themselves for how they didn't come towards a soulmate connection, which was their fucking out of it all. But they decided to stay. Keep living the way they've been living, whether they're married or not. It doesn't matter. Huge disappointment here. But it can be fixed. It's minor arcana. All they got to do is make a fucking decision to say, you know what, we're done. Uh, it, it's, it, the more time you let pass, the worse it gets. They just need to figure that out, and I think the processing full moon will help them do that. Ace of Wands. Why is it here? The star. <laughs> the opportunity is here. I told you in a reading a while back. The universe saying the same thing here. I told you in a reading a while back, the universe is going to facilitate an out for this person. There's some sort of opportunity that's coming a chance for them to get out. It's happening now. I think it has a lot to do with the full moon. I may have even said that to at some I don't, I don't know what I said in that reading. I have no idea. But I do know that the opportunity, there's an opportunity right now for them to have this passionate new beginning. All they need to do is do something. Remember, I said that, and that's why that Knight of Pentacles that was crossing here read like he's at the end of the field. He had all that time walking through the field with his racehorse to think. And now they're at the end. It's decision time. 
This seven of cups tells me the same thing in the soul energy. All right, and these are bookending, so that's important. That's why I say, right here, I got the in there in the 3D, in the 3D in our lives. This right here is there's a missing tower here. This is somebody who just shows up. There's not much left. There's not many more excuses for not taking a jump and having a, a passionate new beginning. There's not. The soulmate connection is strong. I got six of cups on top of the lovers. Any reader watching this, and I know some of the big deal veterans out here on YouTube watch me, you all know this is a powerful connection. When I got six cups and the lovers in that close proximity. When I got a fool here sitting on top of it, there's, and all I'm drawn to is this little thing she's holding on to, this little stick. I say it's not much. It's not going to hold it up. There, that that backs up the Knight of Pentacles being at the end of taking their time. The energy is here. I hold firm. The universe has given this person an out right now. I don't know what it is. I can't pinpoint it specifically because there's so many of you watching. But there's this person's going to have a chance to come towards you. Now that takes us to our final outcome. Having said that. They might get in their own way. These two cards would not separate. I tried twice. That's it. They come together. All right. And it makes sense. Because if I had just pulled the King of Swords. Yep. The King of Swords takes action. Going toward the rainbow. Like I told you about the pre-shuffle. The Nine of Cups wins in the end. Mm-hmm. That makes more sense for the reading. That's why they stuck together. That Eight of Swords. They might get in their own way here. I'm going to pull on both of these energies together. All right. That's what I'm going to do. This is your final outcome. It's somewhat, for some of you, they show up. For others of you, the Eight of Swords gets in the way. I don't know. We're going to see what else the universe wants to tell us here. This is a very interesting final outcome. This right here is a cliffhanger. This is someone at the end of the season, right? And you got to wait till the next season. At the end of the season, this is somebody who's typed text, right? And they're just about to hit sand, and right there, the credits roll. Right when the finger's just about to hit the sand button, the credits roll. And we gotta wait till next season to find out. That's what this looks like. That's what it feels like. Let's see. Tell me about this King of Swords. You know what? I'm being encouraged to switch decks. My, my intuition just popped right through. Witches. Okay. Witches. Tell me about the King of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Fine. I always go with the flow of energy. I walk my talk here on these videos. I go with the flow of energy. Accidents happen all the time on these videos. And I just let them happen. Whatever it is. Freudian slips, all very important. The only time I make edits is when the computer glitches because there's too much energy here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not doing that today, though. It looks like it's running fine. Um, which means the energy is stabilizing. It's usually unstable energy that causes the computer to glitch and freeze up. Freezes the camera right up, comes up into the camera, just freezes it. My hand will go like that and just stick. And then I got to put a snip snip on the video, put two videos together. Tell me about the final outcome here, universe, for Leo. Soulmate energies for the sign of Leo. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Give me the king of swords that's stuck to the eight of swords. What's going on here? You want me to pull the witches? Yeah. Leo. Just remember that. L-E-O. Okay? L-E-O Speedwagon. I think it's R-E-O, but we'll call it L-E-O Speedwagon today. Why not? Because it's strength. It's your card. But that's not what it means. It doesn't mean you're dealing with a Leo, but it does mean there, it's, that the strength card always has a fence of fear around it. If you need to get the strength up to do something, it implies you're afraid to do it. This person, if you, it's this, if the affecting energy around them is one of, in, they're more inclined to take the leap. The fear here is this little bit of that. Okay? This person has to leave something that they see as security. Whatever it is, the way they've been living. They don't have to be married. A lot of them are. I'll just be honest with you. Um, but this person has to leave something that's been secure for them. That at the time they made the decision to, to live that way, marry that person, live that way, whatever it is. But at the time they made the decision, it was the right decision. They, they either needed the money, or they needed the stability, or they wanted to make mommy and daddy happy. Whatever it was, it was the right decision at that time. But, but things change. People change. That's why divorces happen. That's why we leave jobs. At, at the time you took a job, it was the right decision for you to take that job, wasn't it? 
right? It was, it, you probably thought it was a great job. Then a couple of years in, you're done with it. You're out there on the job hunting boards looking for something else. Oh, if I could just get out of here. That kind of thing. It happens. You don't stay at the job forever. You're looking at the job boards trying to get out. Again, I know love and a job are two different things. That's pentacles and cups. But it's a good analogy for you to understand what this person did, what happened here. The problem is they never let themselves look for anything else. They just shut down. Because then the shutting down, whether somebody hurt them on their side or not, the shutting down is a coping mechanism. It's a way for them to stay in something bad. If we need to stay in something bad, you shut down. If you were to get locked in a prison cell for years and years and years, a tiny little cell, somebody slipped food under the door to you a couple of times a day. The best thing for you to do in there isn't to dwell on the fact that you're in this miserable prison cell. It's to go into a daydream world and just daydream your day away. Live a whole life inside your head in the 5D, right? Get yourself out of there. That's what this person's been doing. And, and the problem is, is they got the, it's their soul is awakening because they had a soul recognition with this soulmate connection. Their soul is waking the fuck up. And that's a problem. It's a problem for them trying to stay in this. All right? It's, yeah, it really is. Okay, what's on top? So, the affecting energy is go for it. It's passionate forward movement. It's Leo. All right? Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Something, uh, this card is talking about what the energies here say. Um, the universe doesn't think this Eight of Swords is going to stop most of them. The universe thinks they're going to have the strength to do it, right? Because the heart chakra is opening in, in particular. I can feel that. And that's often attached to the energy of the strength card. That's why in the Light Seer deck she's wearing a heart necklace, right? But, but this Wheel of Fortune tells me something's about to change. Something, it's this energy from the universe of there's going to be some sort of an out. This person, and it's here now. The energy for it is here now. So, Something's going to change on their side. And this person's going to have to make a choice here. A big time choice. I, the, they, some of them won't. Some of them will. It's kind of, again, it, it cuts both ways. But why is the Wheel of Fortune here before we say anything else? The King of Cups. And this card kind of wanted to come out with it. You know, it kind of flew off the deck with it onto my launching finger. So let's just see what it is. It's the Lover's. And they all live happily ever after. Love wins the day. At the end of the day, the power of this connection will bring most of these people to you. I end this reading where I began it with a spoiler alert during my pre-shuffle. Where I said to you, at, I'll tell you a spoiler alert, the Nine of Cups wins in the end. That's what this is saying. There is some sort of change that's about to happen that's going to give this person some real balls. Some real cojones to do something about this. And, and this Wheel of Fortune, by the way, is red with the Fool. Okay? These are all red together, but specifically, this Wheel of Fortune is red with the Fool. This person here who's been holding on to something is jumping in the water. It's the same thing I told you when I pulled the Six of Cups here. The power of this connection. I, again, I want to point out to all my fellow readers and all of you so that you know. I, have, I talked about the Six of Cups on top of the Lovers here. These cards are red with this. I now have a Six of Cups on top of the lovers here. I have created a complete connection here. In electrical terms, we got ourselves a circuit. A series circuit in this case. It just goes right. It's a, it's a direct connection. It's fantastic. So, yeah, they're worried about it. There's some fears. The Eight of Swords is fear. There's fear around the strength card. But at the end of the day, this connection is too powerful. Their, their soul is waking up. They can't daydream away or distract themselves or carpet sweep away how, how miserable they are on their side from being around energies that aren't a soul match, trying to keep up an image, trying to keep up a front, trying to pretend that they fit in with these energies anymore. They might have in the beginning. In the beginning, it was probably easy, but it's not so easy now. A lot of time has passed. This person wants something more. They see a future with the soulmate connection or something like the soulmate connection. There's no guarantee they come toward you. There's, they, they might just change, but you will have changed their life. You will have played a role, like I told you in the full moon reading the other day. Don't discount your in, the input that you've had, the influence that you've had on, on this person changing. 
and putting down this bullshit, this Burger King crap. I'm telling you, you get good karma for that. Be sure you put out. Be sure you're grateful for the lessons you've learned here. But for a good number of you, this, this Eight of Swords isn't enough to stop them. I think they come in because of the Eight of Swords. They're afraid to share too much of their cup of love, you know. But at the end of the day, this is the universe wanted to point out. That's why this card, I said it was kind of sneaking out, so I'm going to pull it. This card, red with the Six of Cups, is a reminder for me to tell you how powerful this connection is and what it's doing to this person. But it's also helping you, too. If you're willing to take the lessons you learn from it. All right? You shouldn't be worried whether this person comes towards you or not. If they do, they're coming with some trouble. There's no doubt about it because the Queen of Wands is in the soul. I don't mean they're coming with trouble and they're going to punch you in the head. I mean they're coming with some energetic baggage. All right? They're going to be a little nervous in the beginning about opening up. If you go slow with them, we've seen that Page of Pentacles a couple of times, the card of the student. If you go slow with them, they'll figure it out. Let's pull three cards from the universe and let's see uh, what else it wants to tell you. Anything else you want to tell Leo here? I haven't decided if I'm going to do an extended or not. Um, I, if I do, I might just do one pulling on what's going on on their side and what, what, what that means to you and whether or not they're, you know, how they're going to approach you or where it's coming from. Um, I'm more interested in that. I may pull some offline readings if it looks interesting. I'll do an extended and share it with you. All right? But I don't like short extendeds. I like extendeds to mean something. If I find something in the offline reading that I think you need to know about or would want to, uh, then there's a link for an extended in the description. If not, this is your reading. This is our Leo soap opera episode. Let's see what else the universe wants to tell you. All right? Let's find out. There's that Knight of Pentacles. We always pull from the bottom here. Remember, Knight of Pentacles. Okay? Could have been going a lot faster the whole time. Always can. But there we go. Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Queen of Swords. And the world. This just, I'll just paraphrase it. This just backs up. This person's going to be making some changes. Uh, this world here. Most powerful card in the Major Arcana. Don't let anyone tell you different. This is about something changing. This is sort of the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. This is something's going to facilitate. Somebody's coming out from the shadows. Somebody wants to fight for their happiness. Somebody is realizing the truth and they're able to process it in that truth moon. And it's something that's taken them a long time. This energy around this is exactly the same energy as I got off of the page. Uh, of, I almost called it a page again. The Knight of Pentacles over here. All right. It's exactly the same. They've reached their day. It took them a while, but they figured it out. Right. It took them a while, but they figured it out. Queen of Swords. The Queen of Truths. And what's driving it all? Well, I'll show you because it wanted to reveal itself. The Five of Cups. A lot of regret, a lot of sadness. Somebody wants to fix something. Somebody just woke up one day and said, you know what? Why, why am I regretting staying in this situation of how I'm living? Why am I regretting that I can do something about it? And the Seven of Cups also tells us that. There's a clear choice here on the card, right? They're, they'll figure it out. This is someone who figures it out. Someone who's been defensive, someone who's been holding back, stubborn, whatever it is. Now, Ting, the light bulb goes off. Ting, the soul energy comes up. The hermit waking the fuck up right here. Queen of Swords takes action. Holding Archangel Michael's sword of truth. It's that full moon energy that's helping them process. So this, four, this, this full moon that we're having on the 14th, I believe, for most of us, is fabulous. It's Pay attention to that full moon reading I did the other day for sure. Now I'm going to pull some offline readings. See if we need to do an extended on this one. I think there's there's something that there's a devil missing here. I have a missing devil. I think that might be why there might be an extended. I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'll see. If, the, if I find something interesting, I'll do an extended. There'll be a link in the description if you want it. All right? I hope this reading was helpful. Listen, this is important shit. It's important for you to understand. So if I helped one person today... And the rest of you all hate this fucking reading. Well, then I've done my job, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if, you, if you like this reading, at least please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right, Leo. Mm, good luck.